It doesn't hurt. No problem. Every day, hundreds of blood donors are needed to meet the needs of hospitalized patients across the state. And as this new year begins, the need for blood is critical. As Team 12's Trisha Hendricks shows us, while there was a great turnout at a blood drive in Tempe today, the need is still great. I had a son-in-law that uh, had cancer, and he needed a lot of blood and platelets. So I've been doing that for years. Verlene Gray, one of the many people who showed up to donate blood at the Saving Arizona Blood Drive at the Tempe Center for the Arts. I think it's great that we can do those things. Know that I'm doing good. With the new year upon us, it's a critical time for blood donations. The pandemic has only made it more challenging to maintain our state's blood supply. Many companies still have a large percentage of their employees that are working virtually. Sue Thu is the communications manager for Vitalant in Arizona. She says the week between Christmas and New Year's Day is the lowest week of the year for blood donations, followed by the highest blood usage month of the year. So that's kind of the perfect storm for blood short. While they had a great turnout at this blood drive, a shortage in donations remains. We do have what's called a critical need, an escalated sense of urgency for type O blood. That is the universal donor. Thu says typically they do about 300 blood drives a month, but they're down by a third with only about 200 blood drives a month, while patient blood usage continues to escalate. Every single day, 600 blood donors are needed to meet the needs of patients in the 62 hospitals we serve. Michael D'Ambrosia and his wife used to donate at work, but saw the call for donations and attended this drive to be part of the solution. You know, it's always nice to give back to the community and like I said, fill a, fill a need, especially a health care need. It seemed like a good way to start the new year together, doing something that could help someone else. The hope that we will bring in enough donors to bring in a full day blood supply. Go out and donate. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.